I don't know how many videos I have filmed here, from my Instagram reels to my YouTube videos or product shots, well, everything was just made in a 3x5 meters room, which was actually my bedroom. I really hope that this video can maybe inspire you, because if you have especially a small room, you maybe think that it's a very limited space, but there are some tips and tricks that will help you improve and use your space efficiently. So first up there's my main desk setup. I've already made an in-depth video on the channel explaining all the main features of my setup from lights, peripherals to my audio system, so make sure to check it out. Anyway, it's actually constantly evolving, so at the moment I'm using my MacBook Pro M1 Pro 16 inch plugged into an LG budget quality monitor. At the moment I don't need to upgrade it, even if I got a look to the studio display, but yeah, for my daily use it's a perfect display. This is the place where I spend more time during the day, both for work and entertainment. In fact, I try to build a workspace for all my activities. Here I edit my videos and photos, do graphic work, occasionally design some websites and I also installed these speakers in order to enjoy music while working or watching videos with friends. So in this way I wanted to cover all my needs and make a versatile desk setup. On the wall over my desk I have some posters I have personally designed for a past project which I put on standby because it didn't work as expected so I kept them for myself. On the right side I have a vertical IKEA Kallax where I store some random items just to keep everything as clean and organized as possible, as well as the Kia Scadis board where I have some stuff I pick more frequently during the day. And finally I bought this beautiful clock from Brown which is so well designed and even if not really necessary I really wanted it. Next up there's the registration area that is actually all these things around me. And as you can see, I have split the room in two parts. One is the desk setup area and this one is the registration and we can say the shooting area. Here is where the real magic happens. It's actually a pretty simple area. Everything is studied to work efficiently. Basically, since I literally have no space, I have decided and tried to combine all my creative needs in just one place. As you can see, I have to make everything fit into a 2x2 two two square, so for this reason I take advantage of the angle rule which if you have a small space helps you give more depth to videos. My shooting area is made up of an IKEA dark grey desktop with a light grey desk mat. I think this combination of color is perfect for product shots because it's pretty natural and helps to focus on the subject without being distracted by the environment. I have recently installed wheeled legs also from IKEA and I really regret not doing it sooner. Something I learned is to put everything on wheels on set because it avoids all the frustration of moving everything manually. Under the desk I built a cable organizer from FlexiSpot just to have an extra space to store random stuff and save as much space as possible. To have more flexibility I use a footstool which I can practically move everywhere or put under the desk if I need more space. To light this area I use a budget Godox light, unfortunately it's still not on a stand with wheels, and a 60cm softbox which is really enough for this little space. To film YouTube videos I put the tripod one meter away from me, practically an arm's length away. Behind me there are some props I use both as a roll background and to hide the cables around. I place two frames on the ground, one is again from my failed project and the other is both from the grid poster LED. They also add a touch of colors and patterns to the videos so I try to take advantage of them with the blur background to give more depth. Between the frames there's a backlight, this one behind me, that helps separate myself from the wall that is pretty close to me. This is a tube light from Goovy, I hope this is the correct pronunciation. Anyway, I really like it because it's elegant and I can simply control it through the dedicated application with which I can set multiple scenarios, also synchronize it with the music, which is 
so satisfying, especially to create an immersive space when watching movies, for example. And finally, there's a sort of night table, which I use to store some stuff I use when taking product shots and I need to always have a handy. On the top, I placed a design book from one of the best designers, Dieter Rams, which gives an orange accent to the workspace, match it with the nearby frame. Recently, I was also sent this aesthetic lamp from Cooksu, which was too good, so I decided to use it here next to my Alexa assistant, which is so helpful to control everything in the room, set all the scenes I need and listen to some random music while working. So this was my full workspace tour. As I mentioned initially, this video was important to me because I created all my content here and I truly hope that you can find inspiration for your next projects. I waited to make this video because today, after two years of daily work in this little room that was my bedroom, I can finally announce that I will move into a new dedicated large studio next month. I'm pretty excited for the upcoming videos. So, as always, wishing you the best. See you soon. Mm -hmm.